Welcome to the lesson on structure of an atom. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to explain the concept of neutron, determine the electronic configuration of an element, determine the valency of an element, given its electronic configuration, define atomic number and mass number, define isotopes and isobars, list the applications of isotopes, J. Chadwick discovered another particle inside the atom and named it neutron, denoted by N. It has no charge and a mass nearly equal to that of a proton. Neutrons are present in the nucleus of all atoms except hydrogen. The mass of an atom is therefore given by the sum of the masses of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. For example, Oxygen has atomic mass of 16. The number of protons is 8 and the number of neutrons is 8. Bohr and Burry suggested the distribution of electrons into different orbits of an atom. Electrons are arranged in various energy levels of an atom. Certain rules are followed for writing the number of electrons in different energy levels or shells. The maximum number of electrons present in any energy level of the atom is given by 2n square. For example, in the first energy level k, n is equal 1, hence 2n square equals 2, when the value of n is 1. Likewise, the number of electrons in other orbits can be found. The maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the outermost orbit is 8. Electrons are filled in a stepwise manner, that is, first the electrons go to K shell, then L shell, then to M shell, and so on. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electrons, as they decide the valency of an atom. The combining capacity of an atom is known as valency. For example, in lithium, the outermost orbit has one electron. It has one valence electron. Lithium will lose one electron to combine with other atoms. According to Bohr-Burry scheme, the outermost shell of an atom can accommodate a maximum of eight electrons. The atoms of elements having a completely filled outermost shell show little chemical activity. In other words, their combining capacity or valency is zero. Helium has atomic number two. That is, it contains only one orbit which has maximum capacity of only two electrons. Its combining capacity is zero. So, it is inert. All other elements have atoms with 8 electrons in the outermost shell. Atom which has 8 electrons in the outermost shell is said to achieve octet. This is done by sharing, gaining and losing electrons. Hydrogen, lithium and sodium atoms contain one electron each in their outermost shell. Therefore, each one of them can lose one electron. So, they are said to have valency of one. If the number of electrons in the outermost shell of an atom is close to its full capacity, then valency is determined in a different way. For example, the fluorine atom has seven electrons in the outermost shell. Hence, its valency could be seven. But it is easier to gain one electron instead of losing seven electrons. Hence, its valency is determined by subtracting seven electrons from the octet and this gives us valency of one for fluorine. The number of protons in an atom of an element is known as atomic number of that element. It is denoted by capital letter Z. For example, in carbon, the number of protons is six. Hence, the atomic number is six. The total number of protons and neutrons present in an atom of an element is known as its mass number. It is denoted by capital letter A. 
For example, in carbon, the number of protons is 6 and the number of neutrons is 6. Hence, mass number is 12. The atomic number, the mass number and the symbol of the element is written as shown. Isotopes are atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass numbers. That means isotopes contain same number of protons and electrons. Only difference is in the number of neutrons. For example, all chlorine atoms contain 17 protons. Hence, atomic number is 17. But some chlorine atoms have 18 neutrons, while some have 20 neutrons. Thus, chlorine has two isotopes of mass numbers 35 and 37 respectively. Many elements consist of a mixture of isotopes. Chlorine occurs in nature in two isotopic forms with masses 35 units and 37 units in the ratio of 3 is to 1. Then what should be the mass of chlorine atom? Knowing the percentage of each isotopic form, we can calculate the average mass. The average atomic mass of chlorine atom is calculated, which is 35.5 unit. Certain isotopes have special properties, which make them useful in various fields. Radioactive isotopes are used as a fuel in nuclear reactors for generating electricity. Example is isotope of uranium. An isotope of cobalt is used in the treatment of cancer. An isotope of iodine is used in the treatment of goiter. Radioactive isotopes are also used to detect leakage in underground oil pipelines, gas pipelines, etc. Isobars are the atoms of different elements having different atomic numbers but the same mass number. Consider two elements, argon and calcium. Atomic number of calcium is 20 and atomic number of argon is 18. The number of electrons in these atoms is different. But the mass number of both these elements is 40. That means the total number of nucleons is the same in the atoms of these elements. At the end of the lesson, we are able to explain the concept of neutron, determine the electronic configuration of an element, determine the valency of an element, given its electronic configuration, define atomic number and mass number, define isotopes and isobars, list the applications of isotopes. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904